part 2 of adding a watermill to my pond. Finally the weather give me some time to build and start finishing my project. First before I can start, I had to mix my mortar and prepare the surface where I going to build. I started to lay the bricks one by one until I got the right size for my wheel. Also I had to remember the height I needed. I then started to fill the bottom and back side with mortar. So that the water will not spill and cause leaks. I don't want my pond to lose unnecessary water. I then placed the wheel to see if the height is right and that the wheel will spin freely. Now it was time to wait for cement to dry so that I can start paint. I'm using liquid rubber paint to make sure there will be no leaks and that water will go straight to pond. After I painted I placed the wheel. I should wait for paint to dry but decided to go ahead and finish placing wheel. I added some rocks to look more like the pond. I was done with the building and wait for the drying to complete again before I can start with the finishing touches. After the drying, I tested wheel and done some adjustments on wheel just to make sure the water will turn the wheel. I made the compartment smaller so that the water can fill it faster. Now I can add the overshoot and finish adding the last rocks. all done in time to paint again. After a few days I can place the water pipe and start the spinning. At first the water was too weak for the wheel to spin over. But after I added some more flow the wheel worked really well. Thank you, for watching.